All right, so we're gonna look into installing FR Fuel, which is a fuel script for 5M. What this does is it adds a fuel um, system to your server. So every car in the server has a fuel. You can refill at the gas stations, all of this stuff, which is pretty cool. It also has an API, which is pretty cool as well. So you can actually use it in your own callouts and or not callouts, but add it to your own other resources and stuff for 5M. This works with 5PD and 5M. So regardless, it will work. All you have to do is click the download link here. It will download a .zip file, open up the .zip file, just like this in here. Make sure you are going to your server data folder so you have your server already set up and everything. Um, if you haven't have your server set up, go back to our other videos and see that. Inside of your server data folder, go to resources, go ahead and create a new folder. You can call this whatever you want, but I'm gonna call it fuel um, because I think that will work out better. And then inside the fuel folder, just drag in these files. And then you can see in here, you got the resource Lula file, the config and the DLLs. Inside your config file, you can open it with Notepad++ and you can configure either, you can create pickups, blips, show the HUD of the fuel, should uh, the HUD be shown when the engine's off, what uh, key toggles the engine off, what's the fuel consumption rate and everything. So you can configure this along with the colors pretty easily. You have the gas stations.json file where it actually defines where the gas stations are with coordinates. You can add your own. Um, but that is up to you if you want to, but I would recommend just keeping the defaults because it's pretty easy. And then you can go to your server data folder, go to your server.cfg file, edit it with notepad++, and add ensure or start, depending on yours, the fuel folder you just created. Press save, close, and then double click your start.bat or however you start your server and just start it up. You can see it's loading up here, and in the meantime, I'm gonna join in on my localhost account here or my um, 5M at localhost because that's how I'm hosting it. And you can see, here we go, connecting. And we're gonna connect to make sure it worked. Any car in the server will have this fuel system involved. So if, even if you steal a car from a random civilian or something, it will still have it involved when you are driving around. And it has different random levels of fuels every time you take a car or spawn a car, which is pretty cool. I do like how it's done that. Um, we are inside of Michael's house, okay. So let's go ahead and get out of Michael's house and we can go ahead and go up to a road. And we're just gonna start by spawning a vehicle with our trainer. Of course, this works if you just steal one off the uh, street as well. And if I spawn, you can see there's now a yellow bar over my map. So this means my fuel level. And I'm gonna show you how you can refuel in, a, in this type of car. It's gonna be the exact same way if you took a car off the street. Um, random fuel every time as well when you spawn a car or anything and it's super useful to use for role playing because players will have to actually refuel their cars and they could actually run out of gas when driving. If you run out of gas, your car just kind of like spurts a little. It does a little, um, it's realistic. So it will start slowing down slowly. You'll start losing your speed and stuff. So it's not an instant dead. Once you actually run out of fuel though, you'll roll to a stop and you will not be able to keep driving. You can manually refuel your cars using jerry cans, which is pretty cool. The gas stations uh, actually get Jerry's cans next to them. And I'll show you momentarily when we get over here. So when we pull into the gas station, you can see turn off engine pops up in the bottom right hand corner. Press E to turn off your engine, hold space to refuel. And you can see that orange bar has filled all the way up. Press E to turn your engine on once again, and you can continue. Also, there is a jerry can down in the middle of the uh, gas station here. You can press E to pick it up, and then you get it. And then if you walk over to your car, if you have a tank, you could actually press left, and it will actually pour into the tank and refuel. So if you run out of fuel, you can actually refuel your car halfway through. And I'll show you this with a civilian's car momentarily. Let's head over to get a civilian's car, and I can show you how this works. So let's say you wanted to steal a car from a lot or you have a car parked in a lot and you ran a gas let's say you can actually walk over here and you can go ahead and um actually you have to be own the car first so i'm going to go ahead and break in and get the car and you can see it already has a random amount of fuel in it and now that i have the car i can just go ahead and press left and manually refuel it the gas does not pour on the ground and then you can see fuel tank is full because this one was not that full and then you can see I have full gas in this car and I can go ahead and drive it just like normal. So this is how you install it. Hopefully this was helpful and you use it on your own server. It's pretty easy. It's drag and drop installation. Just add one line and you have your fuel script on your 5M server. We'll be back tomorrow with Minecraft server reviews and then back the next day with more 5M and 5PD content. <laughs>